Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Wednesday, the 13th of March. Mike Smith, senior analyst here. As we approach the midpoint of the Asian session, let's have a look at the news. Of course, we did see US equities climb despite inflation data, which was mildly warmer than was expected. Uh, the Nasdaq was the outperforming index up in excess of a percent and a half, as we saw buyers piling into big tech again after a couple of days of softness. US futures are pretty near neutral in early trading today. Asian markets are mixed. We're seeing the Nikkei slightly softer. The ASX is trading up around about 0.3%. European equity futures are pointed to a cautiously positive open this afternoon after the US market gained subsequent to European market closes. US dollar index paused around support level, marginally up, which meant that gold pulled back from those record highs but may still head towards 2200 as we move forward copper held over that 392 level with 395 the next potential resistance which was almost tested yesterday it's slightly softer in asia today but still above 392 and oil is trading neutrally around about that 200 ema may see some movement in oil later with the eia data out of the us bitcoin is paused around record highs with 72,000 looking temp temporarily important and as well as that EIA data we've got UK GDP and UK and Eurozone industrial production numbers coming out this afternoon. A couple of charts that caught our eye. In the FX world we're looking at the Canadian dollar yen you can see here we have had some yen strength throughout the course of the morning so far there's that Asian open there's that yen strength we did pause at yesterday's at this big wick that was created during that inflation number so you can see here that 109.17 looks interesting. Uh, and breach of that could see us down possibly around about 25 to 30 pips. But it does appear as though the FX market is pretty flat across the board. There are, are many pairs that are showing at the moment. Uh, and this is the best of the bunch. On the ASX, there is plenty of action of interest. And um, we're going to look at Megaport. And you can see there new highs on Megaport that we haven't seen for some considerable time. Back in November 20, back in January 2021, we're last at this level and we look set to remove perhaps up towards that $17 level. Uh, the continued buy in in this looks really very, very strong as it has done for the last three months. And you can see if we get a close over here, that'll be the highest close uh, with a little bit of a pause going on there a couple of days ago. Want to watch into the market close today, perhaps? Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.